Hello everyone, welcome to the news for this week for a Q. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, let's get into it. Alright, let's get started with some AQ Mobile news. So, this is an image of both Arctic and Wulik. They are in AQ Mobile. Hypothetically in AQ Mobile. I, I want to see a video or something if I'm being honest at this point. We've seen the same image over and over again. And, uh... I'm good. Yeah, I'm just I kind of want to see a video of them moving around and it's showing on two different clients at the same time like a phone in front of a PC screen and it, I want to see that I think that would get me more excited than an image that we've seen a hundred times before VQ mobile There is something new in this image that we haven't seen before uh, Ignore the NPC that looks like they were po poorly photoshopped into the scene there uh, You have an FPS counter in the top left here with a maximum FPS of 2900 and a minimum of 11 now, I'm sure the minimum of 11, that could be like half a millisecond where they're loading in and the frame rate's at 11. Still really good minimum frame rate for that, uh, which it should be a good minimum frame rate for a 2D game. Uh, averaging, uh, so it seems like it's locked at 60 FPS right here, although they did hit 2900, so I'm sure you can unlock the FPS as well, which is good. Hopefully they have uh, caps in place where you can like lock it at 240 or whatever your monitor refresh rate is. So, or your, your mobile refresh rate, if you have like a 120 hertz phone, I know those exist now. So yeah, that'd be good. Uh, other than that, there's not anything new in this scene and not really anything to talk about. It is good they're getting the bare bones of AQ down, but it seems like it's taken forever. Uh, like if you look at a game like Stardew Valley, that game was made in four years by one person. That one person did the art, the music, the character designs, the dialogue, the mechanics, like ev everything. One person, four years. EQ Mobile, I feel like it's been in development for longer than that. Anyway though, anyway. So, um, the mobile UI got a little facelift. Now this is like a, um, to me this looks like a, a, a definitive edition of AQ Mobile, you know? What is this? How, I mean this, this can't be the finished uh, end product. It has to be just like, oh yeah, it's a mock-up. The UI will look kind of like this. This doesn't have all the settings or anything. If this is all the settings, that's just depressingly sad uh, because it is running on Unity. They they have access to stuff like DLSS. They have access to different uh, being able to change a lot of different things in the game that if they wanted to, they could have very high, they could have some very like high end good stuff that would run on most systems and even on most mobile devices. There's no settings here, just a visual auto. Uh, yeah, very disappointing. Uh, but I'm sure this isn't the end product. But that's just my uh, two cents on that image. Yeah, looks looks pretty rough. It doesn't even look as good as the one we have in AQ Worlds Flash right now, so. Not even close. Speaking of AQ Worlds Flash, let's uh, snap back to reality, uh, back to a game that actually exists. All right, so this is a sneak peek at the save set slots feature that you're seeing on screen. That a uh, spider captain rhubarb the dev team have been working on there's music that's okay so you can see that there's like a character selection where you pick okay let me pause uh so there's a character select i think we've seen this before where you can have two accounts logged at the same time you can pick through uh your few accounts if you have more than one ac account which is really cool you log in and then you click on your character and outfit set hmm uh it's a interesting spot to have it on your up there i guess i don't know where you put it otherwise but uh fair enough good enough so as far as that you can see that there's one out of 29 pages of outfit sets is that 20 is that pages it is pages of outfit sets that's a lot of outfit sets uh so you can unlock new ones and you can set new ones so you can see he has unarmed helmet he has a class as part of the set so it's not just your cosmetics um got your cape and your armor so you have an armor in class i was kind of worried about not putting the class as part of this it's good that they're putting the class as part of it so a new outfit set you can name the sets it has the different colors here on that set and i don't know if he changes to a different set i don't know if those change or not let's see no they're the same on a different set so uh, the fact that it's showing the colors on the side here makes me think that there might be uh, colors per set, which would be insane. That'd be really cool if you could actually set your different colors. And every time you change the set, it changes your CC for that set. So if you have a, a color you like for a specific color custom item, 
it'll be that color when you switch to it. So that's really cool if that is the case, but I am just guessing at that. I don't think that's been confirmed anywhere. But yeah, this is really cool. You can name the sets, you can have different sets. You can buy more slots, and the price they had for the slots were 100 ACs, I think, from this. Oh no, they don't show it in the video. They show it down here. Yeah, 100 ACs per slot seems uh, rather reasonable. It's half the price of a uh, inventory slot, so yeah, it seems reasonable to me for the price for more cosmetic slots. And it seems like you'll get a few to start off with for free anyway. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be really good for the game. Can't wait to see that. Hopefully they have the uh, cost. I think this is going to come in the same update as the cosmetic slots. So you'll be able to equip uh, stat items under cosmetic items. Hopefully uh, those come out at the same time. And uh, yeah, looking forward to this and the other updates they're doing for AQ Worlds. If you have a 13 year old AQ Worlds account, you're going to be getting a color custom Eternal Flame soon. On top of that, you're also getting a color custom armor set made by Kotaro. So yeah, you're getting a lot of really, really cool looking stuff for being 13 years old on your account. So that's, yeah, really insane looking. So we see the, uh, it looks like it's only base color CC on the Eternal Flame, which to myself is disappointing considering most Eternal Flames have at least two colors, sometimes three mixed into them. Uh, so only seeing base CC on it is yeah, not the greatest, but I think they're doing that so you can't really uh, fully replicate the other Eternal Flames. So it's a small uh, complaint from me, but I think for most people it'll be fine. And uh, this outfit looks really cool. I like the hair and the horns and stuff. I won't be getting this for another few years, but uh, yeah, cool nonetheless. You can see another look at it and kind of the stats. So this is going to be base, trim, and accessory CC. Uh, and the main will be hair CC as part of the helmet, so that's really good. Really good attention to detail given there by Kotaro. So, and it's a kind of a callback to J6 or inspired by J6 there for that armor. You can see a different color there for the CC. Yeah, really nice looking armor there from Kotaro. If you're spending a lot of ACs on AQ, you'll be getting this set for free as a bonus for spending a bunch of ACs. It's apparently fully color customizable. Uh, I'm not sure how that looks. I can't really imagine it even by looking at this based on the shading on this. It doesn't look like it's fully color customizable by looking at this image, but I haven't seen different color versions of it. Maybe it's different color versions of it and they look crazy uh, because I, yeah, I can't really tell here. I'm sure the tattoos and the arm and stuff are color customizable. Well, the glove there looking good. And uh, yeah, it seems like a lot of people are disappointed uh, from the replies and stuff I've seen about this being the 1 million reward. But I also think there is some stuff missing from this, like the weapons and capes and stuff. So I would hold off your judgment until it's actually in game. You can see the fully color customizable version of it and the extra items and stuff. But uh, yeah, you know, you're allowed to share your opinion on what you think about this. But uh, I would hold off a little bit and just wait till you see it actually in game. This comes with a free item of donate, which is a hundred dollar value as well. Well, roughly a hundred dollar value depending on factors. But yeah, so you get a free item of donate as well with that. Just point that out. Free. Uh, anyway, uh, this is the 12 year membership reward. Uh, I'm going to be completely honest out of the three rewards. This is my least favorite and it's mainly because it's like floating. I am not a huge fan of floating armors. They just don't work well when you're running around in game and I hardly ever see anyone with them equipped uh, for that reason. Uh, so yeah, but the swords and stuff for this might look really cool. We can't really see them here. This isn't really a full breakdown of the whole uh, fit so there might actually be some really good parts of this outfit but we'll have to wait you see for it to be in game just like the last one uh you get a free item to donate as well with this uh so yeah that's good free again yeah but anyway share your thoughts on the achievement tracker stuff in the comments i'd like to know some more great art from Kotaro this time a gundam inspired outfit that's kind of like a mech for twilly here you can see over the chest I didn't see him at first uh, glance, but you look closer, you're like, oh, there's a there's a Moglin piloting your person. It's kind of like a person-sized mech for a Moglin, a little Moglin on the arm. Yeah, really cool details there. It will be for Cyber Monday, so maybe in a tech HS, maybe farmable. Uh, I'll have to wait and see for that. I could actually see the set going either way. I'd definitely buy it if it was in the uh, 10k chest for sure. So yeah, good outfit there from Kataro. Can't wait to see. I don't know how the female version of this is going to look. I imagine it's kind of similar to the male version. Just a little smaller. 
Kotaro also posted a really, really cool, I actually got a, like some Death Stranding vibes from this, although I know it's not inspired by that, it's inspired by a uh, different an anime of some sort. So uh, yeah, really cool Black Friday outfit. I think we've seen different versions of this without the cloak and everything on it uh, that he's shown before. But uh, yeah, this is really nice, really menacing looking uh, helmet there yeah, for Black Friday. Alright, uh, for this one, I'm going to give a real hot take real quick. So the this is a this is a mirror round version of Dage's armor uh, called Dage the Good. Now they Uno reverse carded it back to a full blacked out version of Dage the Good. I have the Dage the Good sword. I don't know the outfit. I kind of wish I bought the outfit. Didn't have the money at the time, of course. It was one. Of, it was a long time ago. Anyway, but um, it's a really good armor set. Dage the Good, probably one of my favorite full metal like big bulky plate armors in the game. It's really good. This does not do it justice, the Black Friday version. If you're just seeing the Black Friday version, uh, your opinion of the armor is probably a lot lower than it should be. The original looks so much better, in my opinion. Uh, I think the Black Friday version completely, like, yeah, no, 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 no. I don't know, but I'll probably still get it. It'll probably be in the 10k chest, so you'll probably just get it included with that. And, uh, yeah, but I'm not the hugest fan of it, if I'm being completely honest. And let's just give my take there. Uh, the other outfit here, I don't exactly recall the name of it, but uh, that does look good with the uh, purple and uh, all be blacked out. That I think that looks fine. Usually I'm okay with the Black Friday like recolors. Sometimes I, I think they even look better than the originals sometimes because it, just being like blacked out, it does look pretty good for a lot of items. But for that one, not so much. Anyway, uh, this is from Crab. A winter outfit. I love Crab's winters, winter outfits. He actually got one released in the summertime somehow. I don't know how, but anyway, uh, so this is another one, for, uh, hopefully releasing this winter sometime, really good looking, got like the uh, Thresh from League of Legends uh, staff there, and uh, yeah, the outfit looks really nice on the female version and the male version, so yeah, looking good. So this is a fairly new artist that is working on flashing Lay's uh, concepts, so I think it's Tagai, is how you say this person's name, if Blake got that right, if I got it wrong, let me know. But uh, yeah, it made a black version of the uh, red version that we've seen of this outfit, which is uh, really cool. So maybe included with black for Black Friday. Maybe that's what they made it for. It looks like it was a suggestion from Dark Edda, but uh, I could see them including it in Black Friday, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, there's also a male version of the red one, which I think is an all right uh, transition to a male version for that. I don't uh, specifically like it. I don't hate it. I'm kind of like, yeah. 50-50 on that. Uh, I do think the hairstyle worked out pretty well though. Although the glasses on the eyes is small uh, when you compare it to the actual size of your character's eyeballs. So that's a little bit of an issue, but maybe that's intentional. I yeah, I don't I don't know. Also from Lei, uh, part of that outfit, of course, a minigun made out of candy canes. Very cool. Love the design, love the little bow on top and everything. Just yeah, if you're gonna do a weapon in uh, AQ Worlds, like an actual, yeah, like an actual firearm, this is this is the way you should take it. You should just go full cartoon on it, and yeah, this is really nice. It's sh even shooting little candy cane bullets, yeah, really nice. So Dej posted a pretty cool looking like Christmas wintery concept for an armor. Really nice gold shading, really well done. Good good ideas there. You could definitely see that working in AQ 3D. Uh, so Lay took that concept and made an AQ Worlds version of it, which isn't fully shaded, and I feel like seeing like the actual like, gold shading, everything's gonna really pull this together, seeing the work in progress. Uh, you can you can tell what it's gonna look like, but yeah, I think it's gonna be good uh, if they actually include it in the game, which they might, considering all the effort Blaze's gone through to uh, work on it already. Yeah, I like most of it, actually. It's, I like the belt going across the chest. Usually I'm not a big fan of belts. I think that looks good. I think this, yeah, this is uh, all in all, Looking really nice. Hopefully the female version looks just as good. All right, next up, Snowvers with the male and female version of a cyber armor for the Lion Fang guy. I can't exactly remember his name. I think it's something like that. But uh, yeah, so it looks like they got uh, this one from the uh, Skyrim Nexus, and uh, you know this one came from AQ Worlds. But anyway, uh, it's cool enough. Apparently, it's going to have, if I can find it, kind of a flickering animation to it, which is all right. And Snowfer has also said that the bow, or not the bow, the uh, the whip is going to be color custom as well. So the outfit itself might be color custom, which would be pretty cool. An Olgath outfit from Johan here. 
wanted 10,000 ACs, maybe hinting towards where it will be found, uh, but I wouldn't look too far into that one. Yeah, really cool. I like the bandana design with like the glowing mouth in the bandana. I think that looks really neat. Even It's even got spurs on it. So yeah, kind of a cowboy, no gaff looking outfit. Pretty cool. Another Archfiend outfit from Johan. This will be coming out in January, confirmed by Alina. All right, a brand new house from Roulette will become a daily drop. Uh, it looks like there's two versions of it. So maybe two different drops. Also, I love that there's like a iced out a lake with the boats missing and stuff very realistic you would take your boats out of the lake for winter so yeah this is a really cool transition there to a winter version now uh this is gonna be a free drop so what i'm about to say won't happen but it'd be really cool if uh you went there was a bathroom in here that you could go in to customize your character i think that'd be a, a really nice touch to the house but i don't think there will be a version of that they should sell a version like that somewhere because usually uh if they put a customization room in it it has to be hate of some sort that's usually the rule they have for houses but yeah cool house nonetheless thieves with uh, two different glasses well same glasses but male and female variants of them maybe for an upcoming set uh would work with black friday pretty well but uh, we'll have to wait and see voss with a really good yolgar redesign for christmas kenny kane's uh, lights you know everything is greened out of its mind uh, even though I think that the wallpaper looks even different, it's got like a, a cool pattern on it as well if you look closely at it. Yeah, really nice design there from Voss. He does good to work with that usually. You see more down there. So yeah, go check it out if you want to see more on his Twitter. Evil Corp Boardroom from Crew Long. If we're speaking about map, art is looking nice. This should be out on Friday. Dino with a cool looking Frostfell inspired outfit. Nice ice scythe there. Fun to say. The Belt Enthusiast Hikari posting up this outfit that is inspired by Shadow Slayer. Yeah, cool pistol there. X Rose posting up a concept sketch for his Frostfell outfit for this week. Yet, yeah, or year? This year? Uh, yeah, inspired by Alita's outfit and Blueberry Cheesecake. Some cool inspirations. Yeah, this is looking like a really nice outfit. Can't wait to see the finished product on this one. Looking good so far. Esmir with a commission by Glacial Winter for a Frostfell outfit fitting commission there from that person. Yeah, looking all right. Looking pretty good. Hydroxide with a work in progress void arachnid looking guy. Some new outfits from Steve. Looking good as always. Love the one on the right with the green uh, set or whatever you call that. Way too good. Way too good. Insanely good looking work in progress from Nehi here and I'm not just saying that this actually looks really good I would buy this immediately if it was in the shop or go farm it or whatever they released it as hopefully We see a finished version of this someday. Yeah, really nice. Love the design of that a commission set from Ezumir uh, Recommissioned it. Yeah, this looks really nice. Uh, I think the our outfit Kind of looks like that one character from Genshin, but maybe not. Uh, anyway, the hairstyle hat everything yeah, really cool. Good design work there. Uh, and Alina agrees. Bunny made from August. Glad August is still posting stuff on Twitter. Looking good there from August. Miri with a really cool weapon design. Yeah, love this a lot. The hilt with the face on it. Love that design. Yeah, good stuff there. Ven with an outfit for Hero Start Day, a suggestion. Yeah, I think this looks really nice. So hopefully Alina has seen it. It was suggested for that. Yeah, good clean looking outfit there lucifer also with an outfit this one's like kind of a cyber with a blue flaming fist and the helmet and everything yeah cool looking idea there and to end off all of the like new art and stuff we had get a look at a preview of the frostfell event for this year drops this week are as follows you have the lay casual armor pretty nice or law excuse me uh, you have the my wings or me it's me <laughs> the pink sweet treats uh and the juniors or backpack this one is actually rare so make sure you go pick that up massive shout out to all the channel members for supporting the channel making videos like these possible i really appreciate all the support from the members on the channel and thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Let me know what you're excited for. Looking forward to the Black Friday and Cyber Monday shop myself as uh, upcoming events go. The Evil Corp stuff might be cool as well. We'll have to wait and see. 
Hopefully AQ Mobile gets finished one day. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Like, subscribe, all that. Bye-bye.